Hello, Papa. Hey Sharpies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back, welcome back. What's up, what's up? We're sporting a new hairdo. Um, I have on a pimple patch because I have a pimple and I'm about to take it off because it's not sticking. But I'm about to work a three day trip and I'm like legitimately tired, okay? Like tired. I've been moving and shaking all month and it's just, it's a lot, okay? It's so much. And so, yeah so that's the thing but anyway i'm about to work a three-day trip i think today i have two or three flights i can't even tell you where i'm going i just know i end up in orlando so i'll have to tell you that soon or tell you that later i'm flying a again i'm tired of talking but you know what it is what it is i did pack decently in my food bag which is good because i'm hungry already so let's go to work Yay. okay so i did one flight to columbus it wasn't bad, but I'm just like not in the mood to work, so it feels real somber. I had a passenger who just came from Costa Rica, so he started speaking Spanish to me, and like my Duolingo hasn't Duolingo that much for you to be speaking Spanish to me, sir. I don't know what you're saying, but he told me he said he liked my hair and my boots, and I was like, thank you. Um, but it wasn't full; it was only like 140. This one is about to be completely full, but it's going to be around the same amount of time. But this one I think is actually should be like 20 minutes shorter. So our first flight was two hours. This one should be like under that. So let's hope for 140. And then we're off to Orlando. So I made it to my hotel after the longest, shortest day ever. We really only had two flights today. And I don't know why today just dragged on. It is currently 12.49 Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Time. I don't even understand that. So don't ask. It's Eastern Time, whatever that means whatever um i'm gonna give you a hotel tour um i've never stayed in this hotel before and it's nothing special i'm gonna try to go to the gym tomorrow my band time is at 1 30 p.m ew um nothing really happened on my flights today except i just feel like no hear me out i feel like there should be like an airplane etiquette class that everybody should have to take before they get on an airplane and I say that because some of the things that happen on these airplanes really leave me puzzled and confused like when you go to hand somebody a snack and they look at you like you got the plague I don't know does that mean you don't want it do you not know what it is I just would like a little bit better communication and dialogue because I'm standing there with like would you like a snack and it's like this I don't know what that means and then when I walk past you like oh I skipped you I'm just I'm just I'm just help me help you you know or like when you order a drink in a can and I bring it to you in a can and then you look at me like I'm crazy because the drink is in the can like you asked I don't know weird things happen today I'm not really here for it. I can't wait to twist my hair so I can get a little bit more volume and a little bit more length um but on to the tour so I can lay down and eat my spaghetti morning so um i don't know why that is making noise like that so it is 11 30 in the morning and my fan time is at 1 30. so after like all my bedtime shower huh, after all my bedtime shower stuff like i was up a little bit and then like i ate some dinner or whatever then I went to sleep and I closed the curtains because it's like a parking lot out there. So I didn't want nobody to see me. But y'all, I slept. And honestly, I'm not even going to apologize for it because it felt so good. So now I'm about to get up and I need to hurry up and go to the gym because time is running out. Because I got to be downstairs on the van at 1.30. Um, three flights today. Hopefully I'm in a better mood today because... Ugh. Three flights today. I don't know where I'm going. Let's look. Listen to this crap. So I go Orlando, Buffalo. So hot to cold. Buffalo to Fort Myers. Cold to hot. And then Fort Myers to St. Louis. Hot 
it called? I'm supposed to be getting in around 11.48. And my report time following that is at 12.40. So it's giving, get in and go to sleep. It's almost an 11 hour duty day and we're already showing eight minutes delayed out of here, Orlando. I'm dressed and ready to go. My hair is semi-cooperating. I like it so much better now than I did yesterday though. So there's that. I have some raggedy ends I need to clip, but that's not really what y'all hear about. Y'all hear about my work day. My work day hasn't started yet. So let's go to work. So I um worked my first flight from, well, I don't even know where I just came from. Where we just come from? We're from Orlando to Buffalo. And first of all, the airport was a hot mess. A complete hot mess. So we get on the plane and we're only supposed to be like 15 minutes delayed. We left like an hour delayed and our overnight is already short. So um yeah, we are about to start boarding the next flight. So now we gotta go all the way back down to Fort Myers to then go to St. Louis. Um yeah, so we were like and then, oh, so after we pushed from the gate, right, it even took us long to, like, take off. So we were, like, taxiing. I wonder if I got overfly for it because it was just long. And we like overfly because overfly gives us more money. Um, so I got two more long flights. They're full. All of them are full. And we are, like, running out of stuff. But, like, the tea is we got provoed, but, like, we didn't get provoed enough for, I think, the next two flights because this flight coming up was a snack flight so we had to give out two snacks the snack mix and the grams and then the next flight is a snack flight where we got to give out two snacks but i think we only have like two bags of grams left and so i don't really know how that's going to go over because our last flight is just a snack mix but the tea is we're probably going to be out of snack mix for this flight and it's like going to be like a two-hour flight and so that's real unfortunate, but like we didn't have enough snacks to begin with. And we don't touch a provo station. Like Orlando was a provo station and our next three destinations are not provo stations. So stay tuned for that madness. Hopefully I don't get yelled at for it because it's not my fault. That today was a long day would be an understatement. It is 1.06 a.m. I'm in central time. And I just walked into my hotel room and my van time is at 12 o'clock. It was a long day, full flights. All of them were over two hours. And I'm beat because y'all know I slept yesterday and I'm about to sleep. I'm not going to the gym tomorrow. So don't ask, cause I'm not going. I'll give you a room tour. Um, The whole hotel has this stench, if you know what I mean smelled it when i walked in it's in the elevator it's all over my floor like and yeah so i'm also annoyed because my toilet keeps running i've been in this room all the five minutes and the toilet is like running like what are you running from bro and then they only gave me one washcloth what what am i supposed to do with one washcloth it's two beds in here why do i only have one washcloth anyway on to the tour so I can go to bed. So I just called to ask for washcloths and she says, can you come to the front desk? So that means I'm at like the other end of the hallway. You want me to come all the way down there? for some washcloths that should have already been in my room. I just, I swear in April I'm gonna turn over a new leaf. I am. But the scream I wanna scrum right now. It is 11.20 and I have to be downstairs at 12 o'clock and I woke up to somebody knocking on my door but I don't know who it was because I didn't answer it. Like, there's a door handle out there that says do not disturb for a reason i do not want to be disturbed um i'm a sleepy girl i wish i could be asleep like if i could just be asleep and get paid to be asleep not be asleep to be asleep like a piece of the sleep you know what i'm saying like i would do that 100 percent. all i did this trip was sleep and work 
and it's kind of ghetto and i only have two days off before my next trip 30 minutes to get dressed and i'm just lightly gagging around this room i literally just crawled off the bed i've been watching like tiktok and twitter for like 30 minutes because that's all the awake time that i had anyway we have two flights today we are going from wherever i am to laguardia the laguardia home we're on an 800 and both of my flights are full bright side I'm making an extra ten dollars today because both my flights are full love that for me let's get dressed and pack up our stuff and then maybe we'll talk maybe we won't maybe i won't see you till i get on the plane ready to go 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 oh my gosh i'm so happy it's a go home day like i don't think y'all understand i am ready to go home i've been ready to go home before i even started this dang trip i am on an old 800 today we are going st louis to laguardia and then laguardia to houston which is blocked at like four hours and 15 minutes gosh dang right um i got me some hash browns from dunkin donuts and then i got this drink here right but it is no caffeine in it so i'm just gonna be vibing off the sugar today because so i made it back to my car this ends this trip and when i tell y'all this trip tried every ounce of me all of me was tried we did our last flight from LaGuardia to Houston it was full it was like three hours and 19 minutes it was actually really chill I had met this 95 year old grandma on there she was so sweet I think she might have been on the first flight but whatever and then I met this cute little kid he was up talking to me super sweet and the people were nice though so that makes me feel so much better but it was a lot going on the other day so this day i was really trying to like muster up all the strength and courage that i can but we got a couple days off and then we got our fun trip where we have longer overnights because all i did was sleep on this trip sleep eat work repeat that's all i did so next vlog will be better i promise because we're gonna hit the streets okay don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye